Hey everyone, welcome to Riding on Ruby. Okay, I'm Paul. Oh, what's up? And this is Ruby, my 2019 Street XG500. Okay, in the last video I did with my open face helmet, I was getting a lot of wind and there was a lot of fuzziness in, in the GoPro settings. So I went out and I bought a full face helmet and uh, change some settings in the GoPro so I'm gonna take the same route I went on before pretty much and this way I could compare the two different videos and see if I made some improvements or they got worse or whatever uh, I didn't know when it was time to come by this full face helmet that I wear prescription glasses and boy it's not easy getting it on with glasses. You got to take the glasses off. You got to put the helmet on and try to force your glasses in there. I'm, I'm sure that's an issue with a lot of people that wear glasses. So if anybody, uh, you know, has a trick to that or an easy way to do it, please leave a comment below. All right, so let's just go for a short ride and, uh, you know, talk a little bit about the bike and uh, let's let's see how it's going to go. I mean, I... My voice sounds awful powerful with this uh, screen up, and once I put the visor down, I got a feeling it's going to be pretty loud, so uh, let's hope not, and I apologize if it is. All right, let's fire this baby up. Always make sure you're in neutral. I always pull the clutch in just to be safe. We'll let her warm up a little bit. Now this, this uh, motor revs a lot higher than like the traditional Harleys with that old potato potato. This motor is the Revolution X motor. It's the same motor that's in the, the V-Rod, but this one's smaller of course. It's got a different cams system. It's made to idle higher. It red lines around 8,000 RPMs, which I won't know about that for another 300 miles until I get through that 500 mile braking period or maybe a little sooner but you know trying to do what you're supposed to do and uh, you know it's it's a nice bike I mean the suspension is really soft because it was made to be ridden in the city where you're gonna be over going through a bunch of like speed bumps potholes get into a traffic jam it's like hey I'm gonna jump the curb and go around you know over the sidewalk I don't care you know and go around and get, get out of there you know anything you could do the suspension's great and also the you know the, the, the shocks are good and the seat is firm but it's very comfortable and it came with a two-up seat and uh, the pegs for the passenger but since then I added uh, extra, you know, things on there, like the, these mirrors. I lowered them. The top ones were useless. You couldn't see nothing but yourself. Here's the sissy bar, or two, you know, two, the upright that they call in the luggage rack. I got that from Amazon.com. And it was uh, the, the both pieces together. I think from Harley, you got to buy them separate. So I mean, that that in the mirrors was about the only, and the muffler was the only thing. And once again, that's the the Firebrand loose cannon muffler. They also make one called the Grand Prix. And uh, it, it sounds great. And that has the baffle in it. Imagine how it would be if I take the baffle out, which I'm not gonna, because. I at least want to be a little bit decent for my neighbors. Well, I'll leave the shut open. This yard is so uneven. It's I went up today let's go down just got to get around this piece of broken metal on the road.
Got the windscreen up. Just wanted to test that out compared to the other one. All right, that got rid of that, and now I just hope my voice isn't too loud. Uh, it's like 70 degrees. Kind of windy though. But my glasses aren't fogging up yet. That's one of the things that they said if you wear glasses that they might fog up. So, so far so good. that lady get across the street there you go all right here we go hopefully you could hear that muffler I mean when I first got this with the stock muffler man this thing sounded like just like a regular soul, a soul machine like a singer you know what's this called uh, a Singer Davison so I mean that's definitely if you ever buy one of these streets new which I don't think you can there might be a few still hanging around at the dealers like I looked out with this one it was a 2019 leftover I got it in 2020 in September they delivered it the first week in October and I only was able to ride it about maybe six maybe ten times because half the times the weather's not that good. I hate these grooves in the road. Alright, here we go. It's a six-speed transmission, but these these gears are like real low. little bit of wind I got the the, the front uh, chin vent open so that might be what's uh, keeping the glasses from fogging up yeah this is great though it's not bad it's like 70 degrees but when you're riding that is a little bit of coolness I got my mesh type uh, Harley coat on so it's pretty much all mesh you know and they get all that stuff in there oh I must have hit that mirror get these people to ride your ass I hate that alright yeah, I must have hit that mirror trying to get a cover, keep her covered up. Usually there's a cops hanging around somewhere down here, so you gotta be careful. Don't need a ticket. tighten up the back of the mirrors I know you could tighten up the arm that red arm right there I mean these things go anywhere all right here we go these turn signals are a pain in the butt I said that like 500 times on the last ride I still hear wind so that was one of the settings I changed in the GoPro because I'm all new to this stuff and I didn't know that they actually had a wind setting in there for the external mic I would say because you turn the wrong mic off all right looks like we got some 
baseball game going on here. There's like five fields down here. swing around oh let this white car come out go ahead lady see where the silver car is going okay but I tell you man first gear this thing is like really zippy it has a really quick pickup and I guess they made it that way because you know being a made to ride for the younger generation like college kids and stuff like that you know going back and forth to campus through town you know you might have to cut into traffic or something you know these people are like yeah you know so you got that quick little zip of power bit of backfire in there with this muffler but that's only when you do it on really hard, hard deceleration ah, that sounds good see only when you really push it oh, what a nice day to be out I'm waiting for a mattress to come, so I wanted to be there. It's one of those mattresses in a box. It's one of these gel mattresses. So, something that somebody could grab and just walk off with. So, I just wanted to do this video and spend uh, three, four hours to upload it to YouTube and check it out and see how it's going. bit of wind there I mean I could always reposition the mic too I kind of have it near the top I could put it a little bit lower I just kind of wanted to also muffle some of my voice but what a difference though compared to the open face helmet even with the visor it just comes right up underneath it and and you still hear the wind strong and when I wear glasses as I said before the thing is, is you uh, always respect your fellow riders. Give them a hand there. But, uh, you know, the wind still came up and it, it seemed like it bounced in between my glasses and or whatever. And, and boy, what an what a issue it caused. My eyes would be watering like crazy. being patient and waiting still waiting to see what my gas mileage is going to be I filled it up 3.12 gallons it's a 3.5 gallon tank and I'm waiting for the light to come back on the light comes on at 0.8 of a gallon so I want to wait for that light to come back on and fill it up and I got my trip a counter see how many miles I could get so then this way in the future I could just fill up whenever I want but I'll know in case I can't get there or something, I'll know how many miles I could go. I'm gonna wait for this guy to go because sometimes they, uh, yeah, they go first. 
how many times I'm like, okay, I'll go and they start going. Another thing about this street version is I don't know if they're all the same I mean I know there's different features for different years like some came with a you know stock with the alarm system I had to put a separate one on myself but it wasn't no Harley one that's for sure just a little slap on motion one Walmart.com people Gotta love that. Got these steampunk gloves from there. Uh, I want to see if my neighbor and good friend Edwin, the zombie buster, number one zombie buster. I don't think he's home. I don't see a I don't see his car there and I don't see him over there oh well he wanted to see what a what it looks like with all the gear on and the GoPro and everything <laughs> all right all right let's just call it a quit for now see how this worked out shut that off get it in Ooh, it went into neutral the first time maybe once you get riding it all right people as usual you know uh, like subscribe hit the dangling bell so you know when the next one's gonna come out you know if this, this setup works out pretty good then you know uh, I'm gonna go on a nice ride I got some things planned and you know a little bit of things to show and facts to talk about so you know let's just uh stay tuned for that all right man be safe peace out people it's over there now